Hi everybody, Gail here, Shabby Cottage Studio. Welcome to my channel. I'm glad you stopped by for a visit. I'm always happy to see you. Uh, I have a new tall and skinny journal collection that I've released into my Etsy shop and I just wanted to share that collection with you so you could see what was in the kit. Um, it is a large kit. You know, I try to, my, my kits are usually kind of on the large size because I just try to um, think about what I might want when I'm creating a journal and um, translate that into my digitals. So this one has 44 pages. There are 22 pages for the kit and then there are 22 pages of different types of ephemera. So I'm going to go through these and since it's a large kit I'm going to try and go as quick as I can. Now these are made to fold in half for your kit. The collection is called Ode to Neutrals. I hope you can see the pattern. It's very faint. Let me get down here. It's it's this pattern, but it's it's darker in the corners and then it fades out in the middle. So I hope you can see that on camera. I'm afraid if I brought it too close there was a lot of shadows. Um, so there are different types of pages in this Ode to Neutrals. This is something I've been wanting to do for quite a while and I would start it and then it would have to go on the back burner because you know how life is. It just interferes with us having fun sometimes. Um, so like I said, there's just all different types of images, pages, in this kit. And um, they're all pretty basically neutrals. Which I find to be nice to fit into all types of journals. So you can, you know, mix them with other images when you're looking for a neutral page. Neutral doesn't have to be boring, you know. I think neutral can be quite classy looking. Oh, I'm not going too fast for you, but since it's a large kit, I don't want to dawdle too much. Then it makes the video too long. I'm sure you guys get bored. I love this one. So there are some stronger neutrals and some more pale neutrals in this kit. Some faint hints of color in this kit, but um, toned way down, toned way down so that it stays within a neutral realm. So there's a lot of choices in this kit we're putting together a journal. Okay, so those were the journal pages. And let me just move those out of the way. And then I will share with you the ephemera pages. Excuse me, I'm just going to move that way out of the way so I can bring this in. Okay, so these are um, tall pockets and they're turned so, so that two will fit a page. And there are two pages of tall pockets. There is this one. So there's two that face left, two that face right. And I just turned them upside down. Like I said, I would turn one upside down on the page to have them fit. Excuse me. <clears throat> Drink of water. Nice thing about neutrals too is you can come in and add a whole lot of colors with them. Now these are um, tall tags. There are two 
sets of two, so there's a total of four tall tags. And then there are two policy envelopes, tall policy envelopes. That one. And then this one. There is a faux washi page. I try to include those in the kits. We all seem to like them these days. And then I always include a collage sheet in the kit. This is, there are two um, envelopes. This is one of them. And then there are some circles. I think they're about two inches, two inches in diameter. This is the second envelope and another set of circles. I just realized I duplicated this one. So I will change the, one of them out and put uh, something new in there. So it'll be a surprise to you. <laughs> Okay, then I've got, I think I've got a dozen tags. And these are, you know, standard size tags. Let me turn these this way. Again. Staying within a neutral family. With some hints of color in some of the images. Still neutral, even with a little bit of color. These are two um, foldable tags. They're made to fold in half, but they don't have to be. You could um, fold them in half, glue them together, and have um, a tag that already has the front and back done. Um, what I've done sometimes is I fold it in half and leave it open so it's for a writing spot inside. You could cut them in half and then have individual tags. It's up to you as to how you use them. I just call them foldable tags. And then I have um, a strand of tickets. Then there is a set of file folders. Neutrals are nice too to use as a background to collage on top of them. These are just um, journal card size. And then those were horizontal, and then these are more um, vertical format journal cards. And then here are some more journal cards. I keep thinking I have two pages. This is some new paper for me, so it's a little heavier than I'm used to. Um, this is... I think this is 24 pound or 27 pound. Um, again, some more, um, you could use them as journal cards. You could cut them as tags. Just because I call them journal cards doesn't mean they have to be journal cards. I added some small images of these beautiful ladies. And then I have a full page of some more beautiful ladies. to use however you wish to use. And that's it. Ta-da! Ode to Neutrals. It is now in my Etsy shop, and I hope you like this kit. 
like I said, I'm glad you stopped by for a visit. I love to see you guys. I love your comments. You mean a lot to me. Um, I hope that I, for what I do here on the little videos that I put out, I hope that you um, find some kind of inspiration, even if it's small. That makes me happy. And I hope you have a great upcoming week. It is Saturday for me. I'm not sure when this will go up. Hopefully, maybe today. It might be tomorrow. I'll have to see how my day progresses. <laughs> and uh, I will see you in the next video. You guys, I hope you're all well. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.